for cutting down the commute time or preserving some property. That was being discussed at a council meeting in Oviedo tonight. Some people want a new road to alleviate traffic, but others say that road would ruin their property. Take a look at this map. It shows you what that area looks like right now. That big open green space you see right in the center, that's the discussion. Here is a map of what the proposed changes could look like. It would extend Slavia Road from State Road 426 to Alafaya Trail, but cars would go right behind people's backyards. Fox 35's Connor Hansen is joining us live from the proposed road extension tonight. So Connor, today's meeting got pretty heated. That's right, and this right here is where Slavi Road runs right into 426. You can see behind me, and this is where the county is proposing starting that extension. It would run right past some neighborhoods, and people who live in them tell us they don't want it. A potential major project would expand Slavia Road from 426 to 434. County officials say it could be crucial to relieving traffic on the parallel Mitchell Hammock Road and Chapman Road. Now is the time to really be looking at this, and that's all we're doing is like looking at it. While the county would like to build it before there's more development, people already living in the area don't want the new road. That's going to bring in traffic, but that traffic is being brought to be here. So let's go ahead and fix the problem here. There is no problem right here. Kristen Jensen lives right along the proposed extension. She's worried about safety, wildlife, and most of all, the potential of flooding. If you're familiar with Oviedo, Duda Farms is basically called Lake Duda anytime we have some severe weather. County officials did their best to answer questions, but it could take a lot more convincing. We're going to consider everybody's comments and feedback and uh, figure out where we want to go from here. The study could continue, and just as uh, the commissioner said, maybe it's going to be a no-build solution that we don't do anything. And that study is expected to be done sometime next year. Then it will be up to county commissioners to decide what to do next. One of the commissioners there tonight told us he still has a lot of questions. Reporting live in Oviedo, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News.